Hello students, welcome to another chapter of physics, the most important and interesting chapter, gravitation. We will start with the first module of gravitation in which we will understand the fundamental concept given by Newton, that is the Newton's gravitational law, its statement and explanation. Let us start with the Newton's law of gravitation. Let us understand the meaning of it and then define the law. Now for that, let us consider m1 as a mass of a body A and let us consider another mass m2 of mass of body B. Let us say these two masses are separated by some distance r. Then according to Newton, there exists a force of attraction between these two masses and this, this force of attraction between the two material bodies is called as the gravitational force. Now, according to Newton, this gravitational force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of the masses m1, m2 and this gravitational force is also inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two masses. If I just cumulate these two proportionalities, I get this gravitational force is proportional to m1, m2 upon r square. And this will be our fundamental to make a statement of the law. Now, looking at this proportionality, it is very easy to define the law. The law goes something like this. Every particle of matter attracts every other particle of matter with a force which is directly proportional to the product of the mass and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. If I remove the proportionality and make an equation out of it, I will have to put a proportionality constant. So, if we introduce a constant say capital G, then the equation becomes F is equal to G m1 m2 upon r square. Now, students note this capital G is a very special constant. In this case, this constant of proportionality is called as universal gravitation constant. Remember it. Okay? Fine. Let us discuss some questions related to this. Let us see whether you have understood this properly. The first question, gravitational force is directly proportional to product of mass, sum of mass, division of mass or each of the mass. I hope you remember the statement. A very simple but a very fundamental thing about the law. Yes, the gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the masses. Accordingly, the answer is A. Let us see some more questions. Another one for you. Gravitational force is mathematically given as capital F equal to G m1 plus m2 upon r or equal to G m1 m2 upon r or is it G m1 m2 upon r square or is it given as G r square upon m1 m2? A very fundamental question. I hope you remember the answer. You remember this slide? We just now did it. Yes, the gravitational force is always given as what? Capital G m1 m2 upon r square. Your answer is in this case C. Let us see one more question. In the Newton's law of gravitation, what is capital G? Is it universal gravitation constant? Is it acceleration due to gravity? Or is it a variable? Or it is just any constant? In this case, just remember this a very critical thing, capital G, yes, here it is, we had done this. We understood that capital G is called as the universal gravitational constant. It is a universal constant. Okay? And please remember, the second option which says acceleration due to gravity, that is nothing but small g, which is going to come in the next part of the chapter. And do not get confused between these two things, small g and capital G. Right? Okay. Let us see one more question. If somehow the distance between the sun and earth is doubled, then the gravitational force between them will become what? Now, you know gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two material bodies. And inversely proportional means if R increases, force F will decrease. Right? So, force will decrease means uh, A option and B option cannot be the answers because that says doubling and four times not possible. So, either it is half or one fourth and it is a very oral mathematical thing. 
f proportional to 1 upon r square if r is getting double then force will become 1 by 2 square times means it will become 1 fourth we will understand that in detail if i consider let us say the new distance is r2 then r2 will be 2 times r1 we need to find out what is the new force f2 now you know that f is proportional to 1 upon r square so f2 upon f1 will be r1 upon r2 the whole square if i put in place of r2 2 times r1 i get on the other side r1 upon 2 r1 the whole square cancelling r1 1 by 2 the whole square is 1 by 4 that is f2 is f1 by 4 so what is the new force it's one fourth of the initial answer is d clear